What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at my foiler. It's a 2016 Sportsman 1000 High Lifter. Some of the upgrades and stuff that I've done to it. There really wasn't a lot out there when I was looking up trying to build it, which I'm not through building it, but I really couldn't find anything to really help me out much besides on the lift kit and a few other things. There wasn't much out there. The first thing I've done to it was change up the rope on the winch and went to synthetic. Which everybody knows the other the, the cables are just horrible. Cut your hands and everything. The synthetic, it's just the way to go. Next, I went and did the Warrior Riser extensions. I didn't move my breathers up there. I just kept them underneath there. It's just my own thing I did. I didn't really want to run them up there at all. But they stick up pretty far and to me they just look really bad i like them i like them a lot next thing is i did a two inch high lift or bracket lift when you do this lift you do have to have the wheel spacers in the back unless you're running aftermarket wheels here's the brackets i haven't powder coated them or anything probably Probably even won't do that. I kind of like it like that. If anything, I'm gonna do powder coat it black. Then I did move the shocks up four clicks in the front and three in the back. Kind of got me, kind of got it level with that. And I didn't see no ride quality difference to me at all. Still running stock axles. I tore a left a left front axle, but it didn't break or anything. Just the tear in the boot. And they've held up. On two rides now and haven't broke one yet knock on wood then I went to the cryptid 32 by 10 by 15 tires they're on a 15 inch ITP tornado series wheels I think it looks really awesome on the black and orange high lifters it really looks mean to me I think they measure out about 32.1 and they're a little bit wider than 10 so I definitely took the wheel spacers off the back because it was super wide best thing about these high lifters I think is the grab grab handlebar that just helps out so much on riding or anything getting up on there and everything especially if you're drinking or doing anything it helps out tremendously I got the the quad boss backrest which i had a lot of people ask where you get them and all that they're only 39 dollars. you can buy them off quad boss online i bought mine at the player's place because i was already there picking up parts and everything but i cut off the back and a lot of people keep the metal all going all the way out and keep their eyes chest on and everything i cut it because i just run an arctic cooler i think i paid like 30 dollars with it It was 20 percent off but it's nice i i use the 99 cent dog collars at walmart to keep it in place it works it ain't went off yet so not bad for a two dollar thing holding it there if i lose them i can go buy some more even the ice chest at 30 dollars Now I did have to trim in the back, which you can kind of tell it ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but I did it with a grinder, kind of kind of fast and everything. But it works. If you can tell on the front, didn't have to trim none. I've seen people fit a 33 inch tire underneath there. Some people say you can fit more, but I kind of like the look of a little bit of gap space in there. Now my shocks are still white, I'm gonna probably paint them orange. Kind of been wanting to do it black, orange, and purple, everything, but I haven't really decided yet. I know it's kind of dirty right now. 
I haven't really cleaned it at all. Just rinsed it off. Next thing is the, if you can tell, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's the GSC exhaust. Their website claims will be the next closest thing to true dual exhaust. I don't know if it really gained a lot of power, but the throttle response did. I can tell a big difference in that. You, didn't, you don't have to run a programmer with it or anything, which that's great. It was, I believe, $269, but the shipping was what was bad. It was like $30, $40. I don't know why, but it came moly from New York. I'm gonna give y'all a little exhaust sound clip real quick on there. As y'all can tell, that made a big, big difference from stock exhaust. It's loud. Sounds really, really good to me. And that's the Trail Stalker GSC muffler. All right, we're going to take it for a little ride now. Go through a little pond and stuff.